Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about two uh, assessment tools that I use in my classroom uh, to gauge student understanding. The first one is quizzes and the second one oops, let me click out of here, is formatives. Um, so formatives I actually haven't used this year because just with um, the pandemic, our test taking, our assessments are a little bit different, uh, but it is a really good tool and a good valuable tool uh, for you to use as an educator. Um, so I chose these tools because like I said, they're both great ways to assess student understanding um, and they give us as educators very meaningful feedback um, and I'm familiar with both of these. So how are they similar or different? So quizzes um, is more of a game type assessment tool. Students can play the game um, and as the teacher, let's go into my library here, as the teacher um, you can play different types of music for them. So I'm going to pretend I'm playing it as a live quiz. You can either do instructor pace which means that you as the instructor are um, clicking through the questions and they're all doing it together or classic where they just type in the code and kind of go they're all doing it together but they're uh, going at their own pace oops sorry um, so in classic mode what you would do is you would um, project this on the screen the students would go to this website they would join with this code their names would stop start populating down here um, you can pick different themes here's default a winter theme and then they have this one called synth wave um, as you can see if you've got the uh, beta version there are different ones you can add um, they're called super themes which the kids I'm sure love it plays music for them if they get a question wrong it has like a funny meme or if they get it right it has a meme um, very fun game for students to play um, they're competing against each other. There's a timer, there's a countdown, there's a leaderboard. Um, like I said, it's just fun and very competitive. The kids really get into it. Where um, formative is a little bit more of a, I would say, traditional like test-taking assessment tool. Um, so as you can see here, um, I used this in 2019 for one of the, my hydrology tests. Um, and if I go and click view responses, um, I can look at it by question, which I can see here, or if I click totals, um, you can see my class periods here. I've opened up third period. Um, it tells me a lot of really useful information. But like I said, it's very kind of traditional um, assessment tool. Giving, and it gives feedback to students. You can give them commentary and all that stuff. Um, so quizzes, how would you use it or how could you use it, this tool in your classroom? The, uh, my preferred method of using quizzes is using it as a, quote, homework. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm actually assigning them homework. My computer's going slow here. It doesn't mean that I'm actually assigning them homework. Um, I do homework mode so they can do it in class at their own pace. So you would click assign. Um, I can give it a custom deadline, so say maybe I want them to have it for a week or so and whatever the, the time is, I hit continue. And then this is something that I would post um, in our classroom. Like we use like HyperDocs and this would be an option for students to uh, choose um, after their lesson. So like I said, we use this in our math class every day almost um, as an option for students if they want to use quizzes and how I do it is when they are done, they would screenshot their results and their work page and upload it to our Microsoft Teams um, assignment. Now, for reports here, um, it's valuable because, let's see, if this one here I have, uh, we had running for them. Um, it tells you a lot of information. So here you can see 80% accuracy overall. Um, there were 112 participant attempts. Um, you can view the questions if you want and see like the percentage of students that got those right or wrong. Most of them got it right, you can see. Um, and then you can also see like this question here, a lot of them thought it was 24. Um, I mean, not a lot, sorry. The, it was the second most clicked question, but, uh, but most of them got it right. But again, like I said, pretty valuable information here. You can click on it and actually see too what the student put. So the student Sam, um, it took this person 47 seconds to decide and they got it correct. So you can see how quickly they're answering the questions. 
If you go back over to participants here, um, I can see that Sam, he got a 100, but he took it twice, right? Where Charlotte, she took it once and got a 100. Um, here, Austin, he did it six times, um, and he eventually did get a 100, but I can click on him and also see all of his results. He actually got, he started off kind of rough. His first attempt, he got only three of them correct. As he started taking it more, he continued to get it, uh, um, get more of them correct. So pretty cool information there. Um, and as you can see, you can scroll down um, on this reports list and see more information like this student here, Alex, um, only took it once and this was the score that they got. Um, you can see which questions they missed, how long it took them to answer it, so if they were taking it seriously or not. Great information. Now for the hydrology, or sorry, for the formatives, um, same kind of information that you're getting, but it's a little bit more traditional. Um, I like that you see the percentages that of, of the percent of students that got that question right. So here you can see question 15 in my third period, 71%. Um, this question, number 23, in my third period, 57% got it right. So that was a rough question for them. I'm not sure why. It could have been my teaching. Who knows? Here at the end, these are the constructed response. You can see I've already graded them, but um, you can give them feedback. You can scroll the points here. You can type in the points if you want to give partial, partial credit. But this is me giving them feedback two years ago on the information that they were submitting to me. Um, so beneficial for students, they can come back in here and they can actually see this quiz or test um, later. Maybe they want to study for the quiz uh, or for the upcoming test by opening this quiz and seeing, oh, question four, why did I get that wrong? Let's make sure I get it right on my test. Um, as you can see, it's been two years and all of this is still in here for me, so I'm sure it's still in there for my students that still have an account. So awesome resource to use uh, as well as quizzes. Thank you.